Hello, and welcome to my channel. I don't own any of the Heikaiyu characters or music or anything other than the plot. This doesn't in any way describe how the Heikaiyu characters act. It is just for fun, so don't take any of this seriously. All of this is happening IRL unless said otherwise. Enjoy. Thinking Bubble represents thoughts. Friday, April 10th, 2015. How have you been? Uh, I, I am good. Why are you in Tokyo at this time? I, am I. Is Karasuno here? No. I am alone. Uh. Are you here for a college application or something? No, not quite. I am here to see you. Uh. Kuro glances at Iwaizumi, who stays silent while giving Tsuki a deaf stare. Can I stay with you? No. Iwa. Just no. You cannot stay here. Just go back home, kid. It is already late. If you hang here any longer, you won't catch the last train. Tetsuro, please, can I stay with you? What part of no do you not understand? And when have I even asked you to begin with? I am not even talking to you. You little brat. What? Finally, realized that your name isn't Tetsuro. Tsukishima smirks as Iwaizumi takes a step toward him, but Kuro grabs him by his arm and pulls him back. Okay, just stop. You are acting like kids. And Tsuki, just go home. But. But nothing, go home. I can't. Yes, you can. No, I can't. Tsuki sighs before looking at Kuro. Can I speak with Tetsuro alone? No. Let's leave. Iwaizumi pulls Kuro by his arm and starts dragging him away. Wait. Iwa, wait. What? Can I at least know? No, you cannot. You are being unreasonable now. Really? Yes. He is a kid in a different city alone. If he figured out how to come here alone, he can go back alone. And I am not so worried about him, especially with that snarky tongue of his. But what if he is in trouble and cannot go back home? Iwaizumi sighs before stopping and looking at Kuro. Why do I feel like you know something? No, I don't. I just. Iwaizumi sighs again. Listen, I am not trying to be the bad guy here. I still don't know what he did or how he hurt you. So, I am not taking any risks here. Iwaizumi sighs again before holding both of Kuro's hands. Baby. I, I am just worried. He might be in trouble. Fine, we'll talk to him. But he isn't staying with us, alright? Okay. Can I talk to him alone? No. But. But nothing. Okay. But let us understand what happened to him, okay? Okay. Kuro and Iwaizumi walk back to find Tsukishima still standing where they left him. Tsuki? Tsuki glances at the two boys in front of him before signing. I really cannot go back home. All right, let's go to a nearby cafe to talk. You aren't allowing me to stay over, are you? Can we talk first? Is it because of Iwaizumi-san? Yes. And that won't change. Tsuki sighs. I don't want to talk about this with a stranger. I am sorry Iwaizumi-san, but can I talk with Kuro alone? Fine, but don't stay out for long. I will wait for you, Kuro. Okay. Iwaizumi starts walking in the other direction as Tsuki and Kuro enter the cafe. What happened? I am so sorry for what I did, Tetsuro. This apology is so late. I know. I just regret what I did to you. What are you trying to say, Tsuki? Can we get straight to the point? Yeah, sorry. It's just I feel wrong talking to you about this, but you are the only person I can talk to about what happened. Um, what about Yamaguchi? Tsukishima just shakes his head. All right, what happened? I. I was outed. By Yamaguchi. Uh. Your parents. I don't know. You don't know? I know they know about it, but. I don't know if they accept me or not. I got a call from Akitaru telling me we are going to discuss the matter when we meet. But I got scared. So, I just turned off my phone and got on the first train here. I didn't want to stay in Miyagi. I didn't feel safe there. I felt if I stayed there, they would find me and, and. Okay, it's okay, breathe, Tsuki. Breathe. Kuro sits near Tsukishima and starts rubbing his back as Tsukishima wipes the tears from his face. 
I, I don't want to go back home. I am afraid of going there. I am afraid if I go back, I will get kicked out and, and it will be the last time I see my parents. Tsukishima sobs get louder as Kuro pulls him into a hug and starts stroking his hair and back. Please, Kuro, can I stay with you? I cannot go back home. Please. That isn't a solution, Tsuki. Even if you stay for tonight and tomorrow, what about later? You cannot hide here forever. I know that. I just want to prepare myself for their rejection. You don't know that. I just want to stay here for the weekend. I will go back Sunday evening, I promise. So, please. Kuro sighs and nods. Really? Yeah, but. But? Turn on your phone? No. Listen. Just no. Okay, and give me your brother's number. Why? I know they are worried. Let me at least tell them you are safe. You don't have to talk to them yet. Your parents will definitely be worried no matter what is happening. Okay. Tsukishima dales his brother's number on Kuro's phone before giving it to Kuro. It rings for few minutes before Kidaru answers. Hello? Hi, I am Tsuki's friend. Do you know where he is? Yes, he is with me now. I will go pick him up now. Where are you? I don't think he wants that tonight. This is not a discussion matter. Where are you? Tokyo. Hmm. Okay, M.M., let me talk to him. He doesn't want to. I just called to let you know that he is safe, so you won't worry. A loud sigh echoed through the phone before Kidaru started speaking again. What's your name? Tetsuro Kuro. Okay, Kuro-kun, I won't force him to talk to me. But tell him he doesn't need to worry. I don't care about his sexuality nor do our parents. I understand that he panicked after what happened, but he has to know that we love him and support him no matter what. I hope that he comes from Tokyo tomorrow. He doesn't have to be worried. We fully accept him. I will tell him that. Thank you. Please take care of my baby brother. I will. Kuro looks at Tsuki, who was crying again. Tsuki. I, I heard him. Okay, that is good. I will go home tomorrow morning. I don't think there is any train that heads to Miyagi now. Yet, yeah, but you cannot stay with me. But university dorms allow people to sleep over. I live in a condo. Okay, that means there isn't any restriction. Is it because of Iwazumi san? Yes. I get it. But. I will figure it out myself. Tsukishima stands, but Kuro pulls him back. Do remember Akashi? The setter from Fukuradani? I don't want to bother anyone. He said it is fine if you stay with him tonight. But. But nothing. I will walk you to his apartment. He is probably waiting for you. Thank you. I am sorry it took me so long. Where is the kid? Huh? I mean, he didn't go back to Miyagi at this time. He is with Akashi. Why? You are the one who didn't want him here. Yeah, I was trying to push him to go back home tonight. Oh. Anyway, he will go back tomorrow morning. His issue is solved? Pretty much. Anyway enough about him. Let's go take a shower. Wait, wait. Let's. Didn't you shower already? And if I didn't? You are already wearing your PJ and laying in bed. So? So, unless you are joking, I will go shower while you change your bed sheets. Why? Because I am not sleeping in a bed that collects all the dirt from the streets that were stuck to our bodies. But they will get dirty anyway after I am done with you. I will. I am not doing that on these sheets. So, do you want me to change the sheets twice? Yes. What a waste. Well, if you showered before, this wouldn't be the case. So, go change them. Kuro grabs his towel and enters the bathroom. Why did he do this? This is the first time he goes straight to bed without showering. Or, is he angry with me? Did I make him mad? Is it because I stayed alone with Tsuki? Of course, it is you, idiot. What kind of person allows his boyfriend to stay with his ex alone? And I also insisted. He definitely is mad. I messed up. 18 plus warning. Ah. Kuro screams as two arms circle around his waist. What were you thinking of so hard that you didn't notice me entering? I. 
EHH. So? Iwezumi asks before kissing Kuro's shoulder. Are you mad at me? No. How did you even reach that conclusion? Because I stayed alone with Tsuki. No, I am not mad at you. Are you sure? Yes, I promise, I am not. Okay. Let me wash your hair. Kuro nods before Iwezumi pours the shampoo on his palm and starts rubbing Kuro's hair. He washes it for few minutes before he rinses the soap. Iwezumi takes the sponge and starts slowly as he observes a water drop caressing his back muscle slowly until reaching his firm ass. He continued to scrub his back as he adores Kuro's back muscles. He grabs Kuro's arm and turns him around. Kuro's head stayed lowered as Iwezumi smirks. He continued to scrub both of Kuro's arms before moving to his chest. Once Iwezumi reaches Kuro's abs, Kuro grabs Iwezumi's arm. I, I can continue the rest. Iwezumi just smirks before grabbing Kuro's face and raising it. Making Kuro stare into his eyes before Kuro shifts his gaze. Iwezumi closes the distance between their faces before he smashes his lips on Kuro's. MM. A soft moan escapes lips as Iwezumi's hand slips further down Kuro's abs. Iwa. This, is, why I didn't want to shower with you. Kuro says between heavy breaths before staring into Iwezumi's eyes. Iwezumi pecks Kuro's lips. I haven't even started. Didn't you have enough during our vacation? I can never have enough of you. Iwa. Keep looking at me like this, and I promise our first round will start here. But you already started. That is only foreplay. Um, can we finish showering? Wise choice of changing the topic. Can we? Of course, baby. Iwezumi pecks Kuro's lips one more time before they finish showering. Iwa, why didn't you change the sheets? Because I already showered before. Um? Well, you aren't getting anything more tonight. We'll see about that. So, do you want to eat cake? If you feed me, I swear I am spoiling you too much. So, you won't? Can I even say no to that cute face of yours? I am not cute. You are the most adorable person alive. Ah. Kuro throws a pillow at Iwezumi making him laugh as he catches it easily. Monday, April 13th, 2015. Yes, Kenma, I am sure. Okay, whatever later. Bye. Kuro ends the call as he enters the science building. He said to meet him in our area. Kuro chuckles to himself as he speeds up. He enters the small garden behind the building before he freezes. He turns around and sprints away. Why was Iwa kissing that boy? I am sorry it is taking me a month to upload a video, but these videos take me so much time to make, and I don't gain anything from them, so guys if you can help me out a bit by buying some stickers from my Redbubble store that will be very helpful. Of course, you don't have to, but it will be great if you can help me a bit. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. Later guys.